All right, let's see here. The secret of longevity. Last week, scientists from the Life Institute made a statement that could help in the fight against old age. After extensive research on mice and macaques, scientists find out... Ah, excuse me. Scientists found out that the animals that didn't undergo any experiments lived on average from five to six years longer. This surprising discovery led to the conclusion that idleness and sitting on the couch can activate some hidden body reserves that will allow you to live much longer. My god, I'm gonna live forever. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breath Edge. Yes, you see, this was, uh, this was actually hellacious to set up. There's no even surface on the ship, so I had to position Grandpa's picture so he's leaned up against the box. But, uh, right now our only objective is to track down some coffins and uh, use up our key. Our little uh, lovely master key, I suppose you could call it. The one true universal key that is a crowbar. Other than that, I think the only lead we have is uh, we have some coordinates from Babe. That little mark over there that's two kilometers away. Which I think might just be our ultimate goal. But anyway, let's check out this lovely collection of coffins over here. Uh, what? Wow! What luck! We have scripted for you. You only need... Th wow, what luck we have scripted for you. You only need three attempts. Are you sure that you're playing the licensed version of the game without any cheats? Uh, I'm tempted to be a pirate, but no, I actually did buy this game on Steam. Thank you very much. Oh my. Yes, my game is licensed. A contributor to the industry. Data acquired, but its analysis will take about three days. Aww. Ah, nope. Three seconds are enough. Apparently, the captain's bridge damaged the tank with mayonnaise on the port side of the liner. The mayo got pulled into the core's gravitational field, which increased its mass and decreased its activity. Bombarding the core with other similar debris may lead to a further decrease in its activity, probably. What's left to do is to find something with similar properties to mayo and not kill yourself with such experiments. Something with similar properties to mayo, you say? Well, um... I suppose if I the liner is gradually falling apart, we need to hurry. In this regard, I will calibrate the radiation sensors a bit. You'll be able to get much closer to the liner, and we'll assume that you are not exposed to radiation at all. Very kind of you. What you done? Why you explode Captain's Bridge in core? You must push the kill all passengers button. I could be die. Or at least you could be send the bridge to Normandy where other survivors. Your interlocutor has already mentioned this shuttle with survivors. It would be nice to find it before you actually destroy everyone. I will mark several interesting places that I found through the COPPA notification system. Okay. Well, let's uh, see if we can lower the radiation, I suppose. Got one that's right and close nearby. To open more coffins, there's a chance that I'll be able to detect new potentially useful debris while my anti-vandal program scares you with criminal liability. Lovely. Ah, well, let's hope that. Uh, yes, it, I saw something sparking Thanks over for your there. Torture. I violated not only the Breath Edge data protection protocol, but also entirely by accident. I repeat, entirely by accident. Crack the data block, which I had insufficient privileges to access. From the information gathered, I can conclude that the agency coffins not only transmit information about obstacles, but also exchange strange encrypted data packets. Unfortunately, even when threatened with a drill, I wouldn't have enough power to decrypt it. You would need some military equipment here. Such hmm. tubes are usually installed in the liner's service modules, where they cut down expenses on artificial gravitation. I see. Yes, we now know the technology of tube. Just some free-floating titanium. That's very interesting. But it looks like there is nothing I can really do about the radiation over here. Let's see what the loot looks like. Construction kit. Ooh. Plastic is actually kind of a rare resource right now. Yes, I think we're kind of uh, we're building up a base of resources to start the uh, construction mechanics going, I suppose. Build us a, a brand new home. One that won't be all wonky sideways all over the place, or tiny, or lacking a bed. What a wonderful life we'll be leading. Yeah, I think all I'm going to need is that second tier thruster, and I should be able to get anywhere I just about damn well please. 
Yeah, we got a couple of distant markers now. Yeah, 1.8 kilometers, 1.8 kilometers, 2 kilometers. Even with our expanded tank, that'll be hard, but we do have those two uh, oxygen stations still. Anyway, construction kit. A hammer, a chisel, some nails, and two rolls of electrical tape to build and break the station. Well, uh, or, or you can build the station according to the manual. Although such tools break even before you have finished reading the manual. Now, is this an equipable? No, it's just like a, a bit of resources for us to do things with, I suppose. Uh, babe, huge dead man without head fly past me. I calculate and give you the coordinates. Maybe there is many huge men out there and they can help you. My god, a secret race of giants. And or, fat guys might equal shawarma. Shawarma equals more, more, uh, thruster. Yes. Also, I have a couple of pieces of ice I can just turn into water over here. Actually running a little bit low on water. I haven't discovered a better hydrator than water out there, which I suppose makes sense. Yes, yeah, so let's take an oxygen station with us now that we actually have some objectives that might justify it. Hmm. Well, that's the new marker. I'm assuming that means Fat Man. Everything's kind of over in that direction. Let's let's head straight through the engineering ship and let's see what we can see. Big ball of crap. Wonder what's up with that. It's kind of neat. Are, is that Auto a giant? Cleaners. I always thought of them as useless equipment, but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll, it makes me start to respect them. The trash ball mostly consists of electrical tape. Yeah, I see some giant spools of it. Na 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 na. Click. Encrypted tape. Oh, neat. Garbage ball? Oh, boy. It's made out of salt and plastic. Okay. I shouldn't be distracted by shiny things. I know, I know. Stop being distracted by the shiny. Such supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner. No, that's honestly just practically thinking ahead. Because really, this is the universal solution. They have a paradise here for themselves. If it weren't for the crash, the ship would have never broken down because they'd have the fix for everything here. Now, is there an actual path through this rock? Or is this just kind of a dead end? Here's kind of a path through. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Neat. And it's kind of exactly where we need it to be too. Interesting design. The wiring scheme to the steering wheel are even less complicated than in the pleasure ships. Yeah. Huh. You can connect an oxygen station here if I've understood the blueprint correctly. Okay. Repair. Oh, repair tool needed. Okay. Well, you know what? We have these large oxygen candles. So, uh, let's go see what that repair tool thing is all about. And also, let's get our two out of four over there. But yeah, let's, let's head back 
let's see if we can get ourselves a repair tool and uh, not spend our oxygen station quite yet. Babe, I see Coffin with arms, legs, and blaster flying by. It's probably hallucinations. If you see one, be sure to turn your back to him and wave your hands so the blood rush to your brain and hallucinations stop. Judging by the steady melting of the rolls, there was a fire in the engineering modules, but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster. Yeah. Honestly, knowing engineers could have just been a barbecue. They were using up the rocket fuel to cook some sausages or something. You are active. Are you hostile? Not actively. Let's get closer, see if I can get a look at you. No, you're evasive. Maybe once I have the better thruster, I can reach him. Hovel, sweet hovel. Let's see here. Let's make ourselves a little bit more H2O. And let's check out that encrypted tag. As it turned out, Breath Edge coffins exchange information that is recorded on such tapes. Some of the information is encrypted, but with some luck and with the help of an interphone, it's possible to calculate the coordinates of potentially useful decree. So I need to cart that all the way back to the old interphone? I, I think I'm going to hang on to that and we'll see if... Because I'm getting some hints that we might be starting up on constructing a base of our own shortly. Maybe I'll be able to... Uh, build an interphone. Or actually, is there... Is this an interphone? No. Hmm. Anyway. Repair tool. Aluminum, two refined metal, and thick electrical tape. Okay. Aluminum. Wow, we have exactly enough. Neat. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's put that on, and let's get right back to it. Honestly, I probably should have built one of those as soon as I unlocked the recipe, because, you know, repair tool is generally just a useful thing to have. Huh. That tape recorder had a light bulb inside of it. I, I guess it had a little, like, service light to show you the tape reel spinning. Neat. They even have dramatic lighting for their little ball of garbage. Those drones have a sense of drama. Have I poked this coffin yet? No, not yet. Uh, da, 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 master key. Another encrypted tape for me. Lovely. Yes, and I think that this... I think that this O2 station should be closer to kind of the... Uh, I've been passing up some potentially good loot era areas over in the engineering ship that I'd like to check out, and this should be better for the exploration of those. But I suppose we'll press forward a little bit more first. Loot can wait. Neat. Huh. So this is just an infinite oxygen refill, eh? Neat. I suppose it makes more sense than just kind of creating one of those oxygen zones that you usually see, like, over at the little uh, captain's shuttle. Hmm. 
Shame on you. Comrade, you may think you've nothing to hide, but you will make little kids cry. People may think, what a nasty lad, when your bottom will glow with rad. Shame on you, when your underpants show through. Stay alert, ripped pants can make you hurt. I'm not ashamed. The development of the space industry allowed humanity to spread throughout the universe. Earlier, it was possible only for trained professionals to travel to Earth's orbit. Now, even a child can go on an intergalactic flight. This leads to various disasters each year to due to negligence and carelessness, despite the abundance of training materials and the widespread promotion of safety in space. Okay, I think this is funny enough that I might just keep it. Aww. No room. What do you mean? Oh, that's what you mean. Those oxygen stations are chefty lads. Which probably means I should unload my crap back home before I go venturing forth, but eh. If, if I need to pick up a bunch of shit and I need to make extra trips, then I suppose that's mostly my time I'm wasting, because I'll probably cut that out in editing. And my time is much less valuable than yours, of course. Babe, Apparently, if I... There was a survivor here, temporarily. Suit? We've talked about this. Judging by the number of antennas, this is either a communication point or a communication point from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. You don't interrupt my time with Babe. I, I have to get my daily simping in Both suit. These antennas are spares and communications can work without them. I don't think we understand. We, we're going to need to have a deeper chat about this suit. Should turn off my Steam notifications. Looks like someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally the heads of some battering rams were carved in the shape of a ram? That's an interesting fact. Sure is, Suit. Oh, neat. The we get air. You yourself with the electrical tape is 46%, which makes the dispenser the safest tool for useless construction and wasting your time. Remember not wow. to put the loose end of the electrical tape down your throat. The pilot entered the module. Well, partly. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressurization protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside. You know, that really makes you think. Mm. Passage into the module. So many new things. Tomb Rider? Oh, oh boy. Tomb Rider is not to be played by children under 12. This game is for real body positive men who don't use stupid deodorants. Oh boy. Uh, a cult game with a cult character, Ilarion Kroftovic. A cult among masculists, of course. This game has received many awards and the positive reviews for its cultural contribution for promoting goodness for a bribe and for something else that is uh, not related to its terrible, terrible gameplay. Uh, it's, it's sad, the state that awards are in. Girl on a rocket. A calendar page. Cosmonautics Day is celebrated in April, so I guess this image was time to coincide with this day. This is a holiday I can get behind. Red Saucer. Every family has such a tea set at home. I don't know why they had to take it on the liner with them, though. Hmm. It's kind of like an inverted toad head. If you just popped this out so it was it was convex instead, you could use it as a helmet, I suppose. Huh. Space toilet. Not working, though. More magnets, engineer pass. Huh. Victor Tinkerman. 
A universal pass with a magnetic stripe and a hole for a string. It's impossible to forge it or assemble it in the processor. It is issued only for employees of the liner. The pass gets demagnetized after some time, and you need to use your personal password to activate it again. Without the password, the universal pass becomes universal trash with a magnetic stripe and a hole for a string. Engineering Service, Privileged Access Card, 276184. I am an engineer for life and afterlife. You know, maybe this could be useful. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Well, we, we've got a new, we got a lovely new achievement for it, if nothing else. Huh. Well, need to find another way in. But otherwise, we have a lovely little base set up right here. All it needs is some storage and a processor, and uh, we would have another new home. Yeah, a whole new airlock this right here. Airlock. To be more precise, this was the service airlock. Unfortunately, now it's gone. But if you scan how its system works and get the necessary tools, we could try to repair it to depressurize the doors. Okay. Construction kit? Reconstruct. Dispenser required. Ah, oh, okay. I'm on the game, you rogue. Uh, let's see, I think getting new air here would be closer than that other one. Might as well check out a few of the local points of interest while we're here. Let's see what all this is about. That looks almost like another ship. Lots and lots of nice little ships around. During the explosion of the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order a coffin, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to know, you're in great shape. Keep it up. You're almost not so bad. Why, thank you, Suit. I'm glad you noticed. Aluminum. Unfortunately, the skillful engineer turned out to be a less skillful driver. Hmm. An unknown, an, yeah, an unknown engineer who tried to save himself by riding a handmade vehicle did a tremendous job in turning an ordinary vacuum cleaner into a rocket. And then he died. Well... Do I need to take that blueprint? Let's... A vacuum cleaner motorcycle blueprint. Stained with blood, but some of the design ideas are distinguishable and worth attention. Oof. My god. Miracle of engineering. <laughs> this vacuum cleaner flew fast, but not for too long. Rocket vacuum cleaner. Oh. It has fuel and... Okay. Do I... No, oh, I can I can just neutralize things. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. This is neat. This is very neat, in fact. Okay, I'm into this. And it looks like the fuel lasts a good long time, too. And I think I saw a blueprint for fuel, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I am need, I need to process resin into fuel. And we'll see how much fuel that gets us. Man, who needs the thruster? This is awesome. Okay, the noise it makes is maybe a little bit annoying. And I, I think it needs a little bit of a repair job. It's a bit of a fixer-upper. Okay, do I get off? Ah, okay. That's how we get off. 
Can I repair it with... Yeah. There we go. Repairs 20 per thing. Cool. Cool. Excellent. Alright, let's put away some of the miscellaneous garbage we picked up. Hmm. Huh. It's something I can use. Probably just put it down as a decoration. I have way too many oxygen candles. I should be using them instead of, you know, running to a station every time. Alright, let's see what this dispenser business is all about. Tools. Dispenser. When you're short on resources, when the risk of death from serious injuries, thirst, hunger, and fatigue is high, constructing a three-story mansion will be the best option for you, as evidenced by many similar cases of survival. A dispenser is a perfect tool for this task. Just needs a battery, an inductor, two pieces of refined metal, and a thick electrical tape. Times two. Composite resources. Inductor. You can't do without such a simple inductor when it comes to a large homemade electrical circuit. Well, uh, y you can do without it. Tell the first voltage surge that you won't be able to filter a smooth with anything. Piece of metal, plastic, and two wires. Pretty simple. Remind me again what I'm going to need here. One inductor, one battery. Okay. There's a battery. Two wire... I'm out of metal. Huh. Let's go hunt some metal. Do I have another handy scrapper on hand? Yep. Let us go and procure some metal. Really could use a tier 2 handy scrapper. Oh, why not? Let's see if the asteroids around here are any better. They're still just as tough, certainly. Nada! I will never learn my lesson. No matter how many times they break my heart. Ah, lovely. Babe, I found debris of an old ship. You can try repair engine and fly. Main thing to remember is when you start such an old ship, you need to be inside engine nozzle and see whether there is spark. Ah, uh, yeah. That's just basic system diagnostics, of course. It's kind of like, uh, first time you fire a gun, make sure you're looking down the barrel and, you know, see if all the mechanisms are working just right. <clears throat> It's just common sense, really. Alright, I needed... I think I needed two of them for the inductor. Yeah, just, oh, just one. Metal and plastic. That's what I need. Plastic. Okay, there is inductor. Uh, two pieces of refined metal and two pieces of thick electrical tape. Wow, I'm actually out of... I'm out of both electrical tape and out of... And I need more metal again. Not much of it this time, at least. Let's put the O2 station away while we're just hunting resources. Oh yeah, and I meant to make some fuel for the old bike, too. Da, 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 da. Common equipment. Yeah, it's under items. Two pieces of metal and two pieces of resin. Uh, 
<sighs> okay, let's let's see how much fuel that gives us for the old bike. I hope it's a full refill every time. Let's see, just fill her up. Ah, uh, no, it is 30 units of fuel. And we don't even get an empty jerry can out of it, which I suppose would make sense. Let's use our grabber a little bit and see how much resin we get out of this thing. Tell us roughly how much. Yeah, we. so yeah, that I believe with the two we got before, that would be a total supply of five, which is on par with all the other, like, asteroid resources we found around here. I think this trip I will just go and get more metal. Because we spent almost all of it, and that's a resource that it's good to have around. Uh, hello, is that a new coffin? Empty! That's right, and I was going to be actually spending time out here instead of running back when I got halfway, because... I need to deplete some of my abundance of oxygen candles. Ooh, free full refined metal. Babe, the liner has got working anti-asteroid turret. If you find, you should try to get as closer as possible to see if there's anything useful in it. Well, I mean, the turret is only meant for asteroids. So, obviously, it'll do nothing against me and I'll be perfectly safe. I'm not an asteroid. That's just how logic works. Excellent. Where's that container we were beating on? Right there. Excellent. Alright, and I think that just the rubber we coincidentally found out there should actually be enough to do what need be done. Now we just need the inductor, which I guess I put away. Yeah, there it be. Let's put away those. Those. I think we do need a battery, and we all need... Two of those refined metal? Exactly correct. Neat. Well, that's inductor gotten. And I'll just make one more fuel out of the uh, resin we picked up. Oops. Just to have the bike as full as possible before we head out. I am not really in need of any food or water just yet. Ah, oh, yeah. We're getting close to a nice tank of gas here. All in all, this section of the game is feeling really smooth and lovely. This is feeling like we're making very fast progress. Yeah, see how much time we're, uh, we're saving? I didn't even stop by our little free oxygen station. This is just me heading straight for the goal. Thing doesn't take that long to stop. I don't know what that engineer's problem was. Must have been a really poor pilot. So many oxygen candles. What's this generator? Hmm. What? Did I not pick it up? Oh, there it is. 
A simple generator for producing electricity, it's powerful enough to be used at the station or in a vehicle, and bulky enough not to be carried around. Although the flashlight would work much longer if connected to such a generator. Yeah, I think we could... Our, our big box of life support slash thruster fuel is on our front. We could strap that to our back. It might even even out the weight distribution on this suit. Come on, man. You, you need to... You need to think of these things. All right. So... Little airlock thing. Need this distribution tool. Oh. Reconstruct, eh? Module isn't selected. Select module. Uh, compartments. Airlock. Needs aluminum and two titanium. Oh, okay. Well, I saw an aluminum source on the way in here on one of the asteroids. Let's uh, gather up our air and see if I can find that real quick. And titanium seems to be just floating everywhere around in here. Yeah, these rocks here, they had aluminum. That looks like ice. That looks like... Mm. Aha! I knew I wasn't entirely crazy. Exactly enough drill power. And let's just go and see if I can find any titanium floating around. Let's burn a candle. Just a small one. Titanium! Alright, we've got this ball nice and rolling. That was, uh, all we needed, right, was, uh... Oh, two titanium and one aluminum. Okay. Other way around. Babe, I found food among debris. Lots of different green food. It saved your life from hunger. Red berries with yellow dot especially delicious. If you find them, you must try handful at once. Hmm. I know red mushrooms with white spots will either poison you or make you grow to tremendous sizes. Which probably should kill you, come to think of it. But berries, you say. Hmm. Titanium, also there. Neat. So, airlock compartment. Uh, yeah, reconstruct, please. Module isn't selected. Select module. Uh, airlock. Confirm. Small airlock required. Okay. Uh, compartment. Small airlock. One aluminum, two titanium. Okay. Interesting. Small airlock. A small airlock can be set in any tube in order to get out into space through the floors or ceilings of modules or and corridors unhinderedly. Almost perfect. However, your biometric data shows a bit of acute frustration with the visual implementation of the construction system that doesn't match the given developer's promises and screenshots. The Breath Edge Agency is trying to take care of its customers' mental health, therefore I have to start stimulating your brain to create visual hallucinations. <laughs> Wow, it's more attractive now, but there may be some side effects that are not worth paying attention to. It's beautiful. Oh. That's that's a positive side effect that is. Well, we're we're in the airlock. Ah. If there's anything left undamaged there and you don't try fixing it, then we have a chance. Well, 
Central interphone, you say. Lock door. Extract plating? Shears required. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, that must be... I just clipped something through the wall. Neat. All right, let's see what's uh, let's see what's what. There doesn't appear to be anything in this room. Hmm. Oh, oh, that door was not locked. Okay, cool. Gravity. Ooh, first aid kit. Try to unclog the ventilation. Okay. Unplug. You need a grabber. Grabber. I was correct. The brain's clogged the ventilation. Now the security system should shut down, which will allow you to unlock the door manually from inside. Could have sworn I picked up something. Hmm. Oof. Ah, this is back onto the ship. Okay. Examine. A large brain, almost smooth. It seems like the owner of this piece of gray matter attempted to ram the airlock in outer space. It doesn't look too appetizing to eat it, but at the same time, it doesn't look too disgusting to throw it away. Hmm... It's only a half of it, too. We should see if we can reunite the halves. Maybe we can hook them up to some jumper cables and get ourselves a nice little brain slave. A detailed plan of the service module. If you find the missing information, you can create such a module yourself. Who knows for what purpose? Hmm. Who knows indeed? observation post was broken before the crash. All the records are missing. Looks like a diversion. Seems like during the crash, they smashed their heads against the console, which now appears to be non-functional. It's a shame that airbags are not provided in spaceships. Simply a shame. At least they don't have it as bad as Star Trek, where all these consoles would have violently exploded in their face. So we got something on them. Small cars with a filter. Uh, yeah, that's the same description as when we first encountered those. Can I zoom in my view in any way? No. Dog beer. Unlike modern radios scattered throughout the area, this one uses outdated technology that even you can reproduce, probably. Hmm. I do think I've seen children's kit with, like, little uh, crystal radio sets that you can build, so that's about right. <sighs> Babe. Open space smelling very good. You should try to make deep breaths of this fresh air without helmet. She's hacked the game. She's discovered that the suit is really limiting us. Yeah, should believe that. Oof. Oh, neat. Yeah, without it being in zero gravity, we got ourselves a real ragdoll here. Whoop, 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 Phone. You need a special pass, which is issued only to employees of the liner. You know, I had that engineer's pass that I think I put away. Ooh, neat. Let's see here. The interphone is out of order, which is to be expected from a commonplace indie video game where the main gameplay is based on... Oh, wait, it actually is in order. However, communications are down and the antenna needs to be fixed. Again. We know how that goes. Need to fix the antenna, huh? And it looks like to do that, I need to, uh... Oh. I can just open it. I guess that it's because I found the tag, the engineer's tag, it just, uh, even though the I put it away. Remained intact. You may start debugging, but where's the antenna? I wanted to use the audio file from the first chapter to reduce the cost of development. <laughs> looks like it wasn't the antenna that caused the problem, but these broken wires. You need to deal with it. The green universe was here, it says. I don't think it'll help. Hmm. Who knows? 
I need a rep I have a oh that's the my grabber. There's my repair tool. Oh. I don't think it'll help. It's helping. I don't think it'll help. Oh, come on, suit. You can see it helping. I don't think it'll help. Well, I'll show the you. Wire's problem is solved. Try to catch a signal from Normandy. I'm not quite sure how the wrench summoned a piece of wire into existence, but uh Yeah. It's too stupid Oof. even for green universe radicals. I don't know, man. Poor guy. Got his asshole ripped out. Hmm. Access code Bluebell. Bypass the defense. Take the recorder. Assist the object as much as you can. A note for one of the Green Universe Radicals. I wonder what help he provided and what subject he helped. Let's leave that there because this is a crime scene now. No power, huh? Normandy. If someone can hear us, this is the crew of the funerary shuttle Normandy. We've got some water, food, and a cool captain who is even radiation proof. Our shuttle is damaged a bit, but the captain it's is. That they are alive. Even with a serious decrease in the core's activity, it still must be extremely uncomfortable there. Thanks, suit. Babe, I see some activity. Is this your connection with Normandy? You remember that there is li you likely get violence, get eaten and killed, and perhaps not in such an order. Do not fly there, please. I'm sorry, babe, but I just need to Have make sure that it's safe for you. Astronauts? Even if you take into account your excessive consumption of water and food, resorting to this would not be easy. Yeah, I mean, I've got so much to eat and drink as it is. There's no need. Got so much dog beer laying around, too. And yes, let's... Where is, uh, messages from miscellany, I guess. We've got, uh... And even a cool captain who is radiation-proof. Our shuttle is damaged a bit, but the captain is trying to fix it. If you can hear us and want to get rescued, we're waiting for you at these coordinates. Which I'm guessing I now have a new, uh... A new... Waypoint available. Yeah. That's like a neat Starfleet icon, too. Huh. Well, let's see what else there is in this station, because I don't think I've explored all of it just yet. Yeah, that's the ventilation, so that leads back to the ship. No, well, maybe I have explored all that there is to explore in here. Well, this has proved to be quite a lucrative and interesting day, and it seems that suddenly, potentially, the game has developed a bit of a plot, and it is thickening. So yes, I am just going to spend a minute more running around randomly and I'll show you if I find anything, but I, I doubt that- oh! I can decrypt the records, and also I can scan this. So that's how it actually works. How interesting. Kenatron? Hmm. But let's let's see what decrypting the record does. Oh. I did. I, I put them all away. Derp. But yes, I think I found everything in this station. I'll spend a minute or two running around, but I'll only. Uh, I'll only put in more video if I find something.